Hey, this is Bill and Susan with our special guide to food and snacks you can enjoy while attending the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. Follow along with us for local food, free breakfast events, Gorat Steakhouse, Twin Mings, and more on What I Ate. It's Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting time, so you've overcome your major tasks to attend. Those being, one, get your attendee passes, two, secure transportation to Omaha, three, ensure lodging. Aside from getting to the convention center, you've only got one major decision, what to eat. Luckily, you have lots of options available. Whether you want to meet up over happy hour snacks with like-minded convention goers, break away from the crowds to find something new, or make the religious pilgrimage to Gorat Steakhouse, there is something for everyone. If you really enjoy the company of Berkshire Rowdies, come into town as early as Wednesday to take advantage of the many happy hour and dinner meetups. A good place to find a schedule of these events is the goodinvesting.net website. Here they publish the Good Investing Guide, which has a listing of meetups, dinners, and seminars. Many of these require advance RSVP and a fee to attend. Some are free of charge and are sponsored by financial groups. Borsheim's Jewelry also lists the official Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting schedule of events. By the way, if you take the free shuttle from the convention center downtown to their shop, not only can you search for jewelry bargains, but they also sponsor an open bar to enjoy a tipple while you shop. Come in Thursday night and you'll be able to attend the breakfast meetup the next morning, hosted by Vitaly Katznelson, CEO of IMA USA at Upstream Pub in downtown Omaha. There you can enjoy a sumptuous breakfast and Vitaly will give an informal presentation on things that help him work more efficiently. The best tip I got from him was to subscribe to YouTube Premium. When you stop to think of it, if you're not a consumer of mainstream media and use YouTube to target your own media viewing, it's easy to see how commercials can collectively steal hours away from your life over the course of a year. And time is money. If you attend this breakfast, you can mingle with other Berkshire attendees. Last year, we met YouTube celebrity Michelle Markey of Michelle Markey Investing. She gave us useful tips on other events going on that weekend. We've left a link to her channel below. For lunch, you can beat the crowds by going to Gorat's Steakhouse on Friday before the convention starts. We had made reservations weeks in advance last year. We enjoyed the steak. It was a good meal but I hear there are better steakhouses in the area. But this will have to wait for another visit to do a comparison. This bucket list item was achieved. Let us know in the comments below if you have any steakhouse recommendations that are better than Gorat's. Our hotel was a few miles away in Council Bluffs, Iowa. After doing souvenir shopping, we had dinner at LPL's restaurant and pub in Council Bluffs where we tried local favorites like fried chicken gizzards, fried walleye, and the Goliath fried pork tenderloin sandwich, which is a favorite among locals in Iowa. The Saturday of the annual meeting, you can join the miles-long line of attendees to check in to the Omaha Convention Center. Unless you're an early bird, don't count on breakfast at the convention center. Last year we got there at 7.15 a.m. and all the coffee and donuts were gone. I was able to get the last honey bun from the complimentary breakfast area, but we felt lucky that we enjoyed coffee at the hotel before we got there. Pro tip, get your coffee at the hotel and your breakfast too if you can. While at the convention, we gorged on the $1 Dairy Queen Dilly Bars until we sought more substantial food. Some conventioneers had pre-ordered a sandwich box which included chips and a drink. The concession stand pickings were not that interesting as well, so we walked downtown to the Spaghetti Works. Our opinion, the pasta is not that great, but the salad bar was actually really good. The all-you-can-eat pasta option also gives you access to the salad bar. By the way, paying for the salad bar only is the same as the all-you-can-eat pasta.
another convention day lunch option to try is Phil's Deli at 1006 Howard Street. The manager has revamped the store, which is known for their cold and hot sandwiches and satisfying chili. We didn't actually stop here during our visit, but had heard good things from other conventioneers. If you can get to Omaha the day before the convention, stop by the Lithuanian Bakery on South 33rd Avenue. Known for their Napoleon Tort, you can also get sandwiches and pastries to pack for your convention visit the next day. Dinner after the convention is, of course, the $5 Berkshire Barbecue Meal Deal, hosted at the National Furniture Mart store in Omaha. In addition to the barbecued pork sandwiches and coleslaw, you can join in on the low-key party vibe that the barbecue offers. They also have s'mores and a live band. Sunday morning, don't leave Omaha without joining the Markel Brunch at the Omaha Marriott Downtown at the Capital District. Attendance is limited to 2,000 people, so register early. This is a great event to reunite with other friends made during the convention over coffee, bagels, muffins, hot breakfast sandwiches, and fruit and yogurt. Since we were flying out Sunday afternoon, last year we started our last day on the outskirts of Omaha at the Farmhouse Cafe to get their famous pecan rolls and breakfast. This is warm out of the oven. It is not microwave we heat it. You can tell because the inside is warmer than the outside. Close to the farmhouse cafe was the Kolachi factory. We loaded up on the local Polish pastry delicacy to bring on the plane with us for a snack later on. Those are our recommendations for the Berkshire Hathaway Annual Meeting 2024. Hope you all have a great time and comment below with your favorite Omaha food venues. We'd like to know. As always, please support our channel by hitting the 8 ball in the lower right hand corner to subscribe. Likes and comments are also appreciated. See you next time on What I Ate.